Well, welcome back to KXOY4 News. This is a live look over downtown Spokane. It'll soon be getting darker earlier as we set our clocks back this weekend. And with today's snow, some might be feeling a little blue. Well, don't worry, it is completely natural. However, for those who have those kinds of feelings every day, it could be the sign of something greater. KXY 4's Caroline Flynn working for you tonight. Caroline, about a fifth of the population suffers from mild seasonal affective disorder, right? Well, it's nicknamed sad for a reason. Loss of energy, oversleeping, and an increased appetite makes those who suffer from it feel just as gloomy on the inside as the weather outside. Seasonal affective disorder can happen with every season change, but for the majority of people who suffer, it hits the hardest as we head into winter, as the days become shorter and light is scarce. The critical times are usually between November and maybe February, which is where we have low levels of light and we also kind of get the cloud cover that they get over in Seattle. Everyone is susceptible to the disorder that's categorized by feelings of sadness each day, low energy and weight gain. For those with a family history, a separate mental health condition or a location that's far from the equator, you may be increasingly likely to experience it. It can make things harder and you, if you have pre-existing mental health issues, it, it can make those worse. There is hope. The primary thing is that uh, it's just getting more sunlight. Why not use SAD as an excuse to take up a new winter activity like snowboarding or to do a good deed for an elderly neighbor? If you're shoveling snow, you're, you're getting two, three times more light than you would if the snow wasn't there. For those who can't get outside, Dr. Shack recommends getting the office with the big window. And if you can't do that, it might be time to start light therapy. We recommend they get a light box and sit in front of that for 30 minutes. They're called happy lights, sold at most big box stores and cost about $70. If that's out of your price range, the light bulb aisles are now stocked with a version that costs just $10. So when is it time to seek professional help? Well, if you don't have a pre-existing condition, Dr. Shack recommends giving light therapy and some time outdoors a chance for about two weeks. If it is not gone away by then, that's the time that you should probably see a doctor for other kinds of therapy or medication. Live from the Sky Deck, Caroline Flynn, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Caroline.